Max and the race. Max liked to run. He ran ever so fast. Max shouted to everyone as he whizzed past. I am the fastest and I am the best. I can run faster than all of the rest. Max's friend Spike was so sluggish and slow. Max said, let's race, Spike. I'll beat you, you know. For I am the fastest and I am the best. I can run faster than all of the rest. And so Max ran off at a fantastic pace. He was quite certain that he'd win the race. Spike tried his best, but he was ever so slow. But he didn't give up, and he gave it a go. Max saw some food and decided to stop. I've plenty of time left. He'll never catch up. For I am the fastest and I am the best. I can run faster than all of the rest. Max ate the food and then fell asleep fast. And slowly came Spike, who just plodded right past. Max woke and yawned just as Spike crossed the line. Poor Max was now so much further behind. So Spike won the contest and went off to bed, and seeing his foolishness, Max wisely said, I may be faster than all of the rest, but it isn't enough if you don't try your best. The End
Fish in the sea, can you see? Will you count all the fish? Count them for me. I see one fish, two fish, three fish, no four. So many fish that I cannot count more. How many bees in the air can you see? Will you count all the bees? Count them for me. I see one bee, two bees, three, four, and five. I see five busy bees on the way to their hive. How many dinos are standing on rocks? Will you please count them in case there are lots? I see five dinosaurs standing on rocks. The dinos are standing on rocks on their tops. How many eggs in this place can you see? Will you count all the eggs? Count them for me. I see two eggs here and one up a tree. Two on the ground plus one more makes three. Look at the wonderful things that we saw. We saw all these things and we counted them all. The end.
Troublesome tail. Spike's tail was huge. His tail was so long. His tail was so long it made things go wrong. I wish that my tail would fit in the covers. I wish it were small, just like the others. I wish that my tail didn't crash into things. I wish it were small, all the trouble it brings. Spike met his friends who had lost their red ball. It was up in a tree, but the tree was too tall. We can't reach our ball. What on earth will we do? Spike had an idea. Wait, I know what to do. Spike swung his long tail just as hard as he could. He swung it and thrashed it and crash went the wood. And out of the tree, down fell the red ball. Spike, you're our hero. How clever, said all. Spike was so happy. He joined in their laughter and was proud of his wonderful tale ever after. The End The Terrible T-Rex can you see the terrible T-Rex hiking over the hill? With his terrible claws and his terrible jaws, and his eyes more terrible still? Can you see the terrible T-Rex sneaking over the sands? With his terrible charms and his terrible arms that reach to his terrible hands. Can you see the terrible T-Rex tramping through the trees? With his terrible feet and his terrible legs and his terribly knobbly knees. Can you see the terrible T-Rex looming over the lake? With his terrible tail and his terrible teeth and that terrible sound that they make. Look, here comes the terrible T-Rex. And he's not terrible at all. In fact, the terrible T-Rex turns out to be terribly small. The End Roxy to the Rescue Roxy and Coco were down by the river, running and tumbling quicker and quicker. A beautiful fish leapt out with a shimmer. Silver and gold, the light made it glimmer. A fish, such a fish, it has long been my wish. Let me watch its tail swish, such a beautiful fish. Watch out for the river, cried Roxy. Oh no, you're not a good swimmer. Come back here, Coco. Just a bit closer, stop being a pest. I wonder, can you guess what happened next? With a splish and a splash, and quick as a flash, silly Coco fell in and was taking a swim. Get out of the river, or you'll start to quiver. It's no place to be if you're not a good swimmer. With a hand from her friend, out poor Coco climbed. I did try to warn you, she was quick to remind. Well, now you're a swimmer, but you've started to shiver. Let's get you dried off, and we'll go for our dinner. The End